So what is up, diecast collectors? This is OBB, the die... Okay, that's weird. I was not expecting a visitor today. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? All right, that was weird. Must have been my imagination. But anyways, today we're going to go ahead and start things off with the brand new NASCAR video that I actually am looking for. Okay, seriously, bro? Really? Right where I'm filming, too? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Whatever you are looking for, asshole, it's clearly not here. Please go away now. All right, third time's a charm. So what is up, guys? This is OBB, the diecast news guy, and you gotta be freaking kidding me. Okay, if I open up this door right now, there's a lot of possibilities that are gonna happen, but I'm hoping for the best. <sighs> for the love of God. Weird shit. Who the hell? Well, that's a nice gesture. Um, so how do I, um, well, anyways, we got ourselves a box. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get this show on the road now, shall we, guys? So what is up diecast collectors this is your boy obb the diecast news guy and my apologies for that minor inconvenience that just happened right outside my doorstep but we know what time it is it is time to do some unboxing from my good friends at circle b diecast and you guys can already see i mean well you're probably wondering what the b stands for it is basically your plan b ironically the, uh, the original name of circle b diecast to get nascar diecast if you use my promo code obbyt down below with nice little cheaply made graphics supplied by yours truly or film or whatever the hell i use but as you guys already know the drill, if you use or actually order five cars with this promo code, I know I keep saying a lot because heck, who does like free shipping? Shipping is $6 if you order five cars. More than that, it's like 12 or 13. So it's either half or free if you use that promo code. And more importantly, I might have probably actually probably used my own code to actually get some die cast because heck, I'm just a collector as much as you guys. So we're probably gonna go ahead and, uh, well not hang 10, but we're actually gonna go ahead and make a nice little incision. Um, I don't know, I guess these are starting to become like ASMR, so I don't know if I had to do something like that. We're going to put the box right here, and then we're going to make a nice little incision, and then... Oh, fuck, I just cut an artery. But, nah, just kidding. This ain't no ASMR bullshit, man. But we're going to open this up like like that. That's a good stress reliever, I will say that. And you probably know what time it is. We got ourselves pack of peanuts, pack of peanuts, pack of peanuts. Even more packing peanuts. Just, what the hell? Might as well. Can I get one to land on my head? Nope. Okay, well, definitely, you can definitely tell I'm not. Oh, that went down behind my back. Okay. Well, we're having too much fun, but let's go into the serious stuff before we get on to anything else. What is this? An invoice? Well, we don't we need that. So, pack of peanuts. Even more. What the hell? <laughs> All right. So, the first one up, I am actually looking forward to, uh, what do we got? What do we have right now? As I'm literally just slaughtering words out right now at this rate, but that's what these unboxings are for. So we got ourselves Tyler Reddick's 2023 Xfinity 10G. Huh, that's kind of weird. I wonder how fast it is, just like all those Xfinity drivers have promoted. Um, but heck, <laughs> that is pretty cool, man. A Tyler Reddick 2023 NASCAR diecast is finally in our hands. And this one is pretty cool, especially any guys who are a big fan of purple. I mean, because if you guys don't know, purple is the main color spot, the main color for the title sponsor for the Xfinity series. And here's the diecast right here, which of course this will not have any Monster Energy logos on it whatsoever. But you can see the nice, uh, I, I guess you could say outdated uh, 2023 Toyota Camry, because you guys know for 2024, we got a brand new one. But you see he's got the updated window manners, all that cool stuff. The gradient on this, I will have to admit, actually looks pretty darn cool as I'm trying to actually get more light into this uh, camera right now. So I uh, hope you guys are bear with me right that. So um, yeah, looking pretty cool, man. I really do like that Xfinity 10G. You got to see the, the hood levers on this actually look pretty cool as well. But looking forward to review this because, well, you can also see where the blacked out offender is. I mean, no, that's not Tito Trim. That's where the Monster Energy logo is. If you guys aren't aware, Monster Energy, we, they are just not allowed to have uh, any kind of um, 
logos on their car whatsoever. Um, I guess they're still butthurt that, that they, they're no longer the title sponsor of NASCAR, but heck, man, it is what it is, though. They do sponsor um, Ty Gibbs as well. All right, so next up, we got ourselves. Oh, this one I've been looking forward to. Like, these... The, 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 these first few ones are probably not going to be too surprising, but I'm really looking forward to review this, especially I feel like this guy's going to have a big year coming up uh, for this new season of NASCAR. We got ourselves the Melon Man, Ross Chastain, and his 2023 Worldwide Express UPS throwback. Chevrolet Camaro for track house racing, but yes, this is a throwback, and if you are a hardcore true NASCAR fan, you will know that this is a throwback. I mean, UPS is one of the most iconic sponsors that still is relative in NASCAR. I mean, shit, the last time we had a UPS car, if I remember, was like probably back in the Roush days uh, with Carl Leverts and David Reagan. So really cool to see UPS on here. But Ross Chastain doing a throwback to good old DJ Dale Jarrett's UPS car from the early 2000s. Dude. This is a card that I am absolutely just going to love to review as we're getting down to what this car looks like as we're getting to the uh, lighting as well. I literally got a ring light on my other hand so I can show you guys good lighting because lighting is key. And this one in particular is no exception. The number one UPS car, probably the only time you'll get away with using a number one on your hand. But <laughs> when you're holding this die cast. But oh my lord. I, I love that they changed the fonts. And I think a lot of people are pretty confused why Worldwide Express has the UPS sponsor. Well, they practically are the main reason why we have UPS. I mean, I think they, it even says right here, they are a reseller. Uh, Worldwide Express is a UPS authorized reseller. So how about that? I can just say it doesn't take a jockey to figure that out, but, <laughs> but looking forward to review this, man. This one is really cool and Oh my god, so far, two great ones so far, um, as we're getting close to the halfway mark right now, so let's see what is next on this little showcase, because remember, I only picked up five. Alright, and this next one, I probably got to butcher the name on this, I probably should have, uh, I don't know, took some pronunciation lessons before I did this, uh, the question is, am I smarter than a fifth grader? Probably not, <laughs> after I butchered this, but this is... Um, uh, key, um, this is um, the number 53 uh, YKK AP Windows and Doors uh, Chevrolet Camaro for uh, Emerling Gaze Motorsports driven by good old uh, Japanese uh, famous uh, J Japanese race car driver as I'm really taking a long time to pronounce this but um, you're going to laugh at this uh, Kinori Ogata uh, uh, Kinori Ogata I believe if I'm not mistaken um, that sounds pretty Japanese um, but this is a pretty obscure card. You're probably like, wait a minute, is this a promo? No, you can still pick this up at Circle B Diecast, man. This is a diecast I would not even expect. This is from the Xfinity series of a low-funded team. And if you guys have already seen, you know, some of the Ogata diecasts that have already been released, um, I still haven't found the Moon Eyes card. That's one's been selling out. But if you're looking for a pretty obscure car, this is probably the way to go, man. Because look at this. Look at this. The matte black, the matte blue. Uh, YKKAP, all those cool sponsors. I don't even know what in the world these are, but I'm guessing they have something to do with windows and doors. Looking by that uh, side sponsor right there. Uh, this is, like I said, a very obscure car, but you know me, I love obscure rare diecast. And I can even see the Xfinity banner even has some detail right there. We got some nice detail on the uh, front and rear windshields, but if you guys are a big fan of the matte Saint finishes, I think this is one that's going to be looking pretty cool. By the way, is it made that Chevrolet logo or that uh, looks a little off center? Well, we'll find out in the review. All right, and these next two, you probably are going to be guessing what they are. I will say that they probably have nothing to do. Well, they are NASCAR related, but there's a new diecast that has come out from Lionel Racing that I was a little skeptical on picking up. But for these final two diecasts that I got for this showcase, we got ourselves the grand, uh, the, the grand uh, return of late model diecast from Lionel Racing, as that was a pretty bad introduction, to say the least. But your boy OBB finally has the late model diecast in his hands with Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Mom and Pops Chevrolet Camaro late model and the Chase Elliott 2023 freight auctions. As you say, that's going to be freaking great. <laughs> um, Chevy Camaro late model. I mean, and, and first of all, let's look at this box. I mean, we're going to go on to the better reviews when we get on to the... Um, 
like I said, to the late model reviews. If you guys want me to, I could do a double diecast review of these or do a separate one. So let me know because I'm probably going to hear guys' feedback before I actually start these videos. But the box is nothing too crazy. But now getting on to actually open these, as I just opened that like a freaking badass guy. Look at this beauty, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. This is so cool. Like, to compare this to the Rosh Chastain car, I mean, you could just see how different that looks. I mean, we will do more side -side comparisons, but wow, I can't believe Lionel did this, man. They really did it. This is a really cool late model, man. Um, these are a lot more wider, and they look pretty stocky, I will say that. Um, just look at that. The exhaust ports and these tires do look pretty big and pretty PTC moldish, but bro, this is really cool. I mean, look at that. We got the Sundrop logo, all these other cool sponsors. Mom and Pops, how can I forget that, guys? That's a, I think that's, a, that's like a local smoking meat company that was based in the Carolinas. Um, and they actually sponsored Dale Jr., I think, if I'm not mistaken, back in his early Bush days when he won a championship. Um, actually, two championships, if I can correct myself on that. But you see those nice Hoosier tires, which I recommended, are pretty thick, but... I want to admit, Lionel Racing, really good job with these. I mean, I know I give them a lot of crap, but man, this is actually a really nice looking die cast. And we can't forget about, you know, uh, another favorite driver. I mean, both are pretty much golden boys in NASCAR. Chase Elliott's late model, which I know this one is going to be a hot seller. Compared to this to his A-Shock late model, which was made by APC Diecast, if I'm not mistaken. This one actually doesn't have stickers on it. It is the real thing. And like I said, when we get on to the comparison, I will showcase because I do have an, uh, a late model of those. And I'm glad that these are decaled. Um, yeah, the logos are pretty wonky. I will say that. Like the nines kind of cut off right here. And it kind of looks like the headlights are kind of not really aligned properly on uh, this Chase Elliott car. But still was pretty cool. I didn't realize that we got two different types of Camaros for the late models, man. So that's pretty cool. Um, as literally, uh, my bring glide is literally, my, my camera is so excited. It's literally shifted position. So how about that, man? We're in a vortex now. But, um, dude, th 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 these are so cool, man. I'm looking forward to review both of these. Um, and all these other diecasts I picked up from my good buddies at Circle B Diecast. Which, by the way, make sure to keep using that promo code because it helps me out a lot. But, anyways, comment below what you guys are excited for me to review. And like I said, if you guys want me to do the double diecast reviews on those late models, let me know. Or separately. But, yeah. Once again, Circle Me Diecast, you guys are the MVPs. We're going to have a lot more diecasts coming out as the 2024 NASCAR season is literally almost here, y'all. So stay up to date by hitting that subscribe button, liking this video, and commenting it. As this has been your boy, OBB, the Diecast News Guy. And I'll see you guys back in the reunion station. And also, for the roar before the 24 at Daytona.